Super geniuses. Bergen Academy's practice sheet number seven, question number three. Let's work on this question together, people. Help me out, please. So, number three. The room is half full of people. After 20 people leave the room, it is a third full. How many people does the room hold when it is full? All right, so this is a typical question that you can see on the Bergen Academy's test, and it's really so simple. We actually have two ways of doing this. So we're gonna use the first way, which is using basic algebra. Then the second way is gonna be uh, a faster, um, smarter way. And I'm gonna do both of them together with you all now, so focus please. Now, before I begin, where do we find this question? This is practice sheet seven in our online course. All right, so if you wanna know where to find it, open the course and this is what you'll see. Um, right here in part six, we have all the answers, the video answers for all of our sheets, including sheet number seven. But if you go up here to course materials, part two, you will find links for all of our books and tests and practice sheets and everything. And right here, you'll find practice sheet number seven. All right, so that's where you can find it. All right, so let's move on. The room is half full of people, so we just use algebra and say half full, so one over two, F. F is how many people there are when it's full. After 20 people leave the room, so minus 20 people. So it was half full, and then we removed 20 people. It is, so that's equals, a third full. So one over three, F. All right, people? Now what? How many people does the room hold when it is full, which is the F? So I'm actually looking for F. So let's bring all our Fs on one side of the equation and all the numbers on the other side of the equation. So I have half F right here. Let's leave it as it is. I have a third F right here on this side. I wanna bring it to that side so it goes as minus, so minus one over three F equals the negative 20 right here goes to the other side as a positive 20. Now let's subtract. Now remember, you have one over two minus one over three, so we have different denominators. So we need to find a common denominator. So I'll just multiply them. So the two will become two times three, which is six. Since I multiplied two by three to get six, then I must multiply the one by three to get three. So the one over two converts to three over six, F. Minus one over three F. Now remember, I wanna have the same denominator. So I need to make this three into a six, so they're like each other. So three times two gives me six, so I go one times two gives me two. So two over six F equals 20. Now subtract, three over six minus two over six is one sixth, one over six. One over six F equals positive 20. How do we find F? We multiply 20 by six, right? Because it's one over six, so the six goes to the other side as multiplied. F equals 20 times six, so F equals 120 people. There you go, the answer is E. All right, so this was the first way. How about the second way? Now, the second way is actually really simple and it's smart, so let's take a look. How can we do it using the second way? Well, here's what I would do. Now, I already have answer choices, it's not like the test is asking you how many people does the room hold when it's full and then you have to calculate it and actually type in your answer. There are answer choices to choose from. So use those answer choices. And if you have no idea which answer choice to start trying with, always start with the one in the middle. So this is what we call use the answers hack, U-T-A hack, okay? So I'll assume C, F full equals 80 people, all right? Now let's take a look. The room is half full, so half of 80 means 40. So there were 40 people in the room. After 20 people leave, so 20 people leave, I'm left with 20 people in the room. The room is now a third full, so is 20 a third of 80? No, 20 is a third of 60, right? It's not a third of 80. So I know that C is wrong, but here's where the magic of the UDA hack comes. Now, 
I know that 20 is not a third of 80, but I actually know that it's less than the third of 80, because 20 is a third of 60, which is smaller than 80. So the right answer has to be greater than 80. So I know that B and A are also wrong, because I need my number that I begin with to be more than 80. So I'm only left with D or E. Okay, let's test D. So I have 90 students, 90 people, all right? The room is half full, all right, so half full. What's half of 90? Full equals 90, okay? But it's half full, so it's 45. 20 people leave, so how many do we have in the room now? We have 25. Is 25 people a third of 90? No, 30 is a third of 90, not 25. So we need something that's even bigger than D. So we're only left with E. And now you don't have to check it anymore because you're sure A, B, C, and D are wrong. The answer has to be E, okay? So these were the two ways of doing such a thing. All right, people? So this was one of our practice problems from Practice Sheet 7, Real BCA Bergen Academy's Questions. We have a whole course, people, math and essay writing, for the Bergen Academy's admissions test. If you're interested, please click on the description. You'll find a link to our course, math, essay, or both. If you're interested, click on that link and join our course. I'd love to have you with us. If you don't wanna join the course, it's fine. We have a lot of free material available on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page as well. So feel free to use those. Good luck, geniuses. Thank you. See you in the next one.